Singer Ricky Martin has filed a mammoth lawsuit against his nephew, who accused him of sexual abuse before withdrawing his complaint. On Wednesday, Martin filed the 20 million US dollars, 29 million dollar lawsuit against Dennis Yadiel Sanchez, who claimed he had a 7-month incestuous relationship with the 51-year-old. Watch the video above. Ricky Martin responds to nephew dropping allegations stream the world's best reality, entertainment and true crime shows for free on 7 Bravo on 7 plus Sanchez, 21, is the son of Martin's half-sister, Vanessa Martin. Sanchez claimed that when the relationship ended, Martin turned to drugs and alcohol and began stalking his home, forcing him to take out a restraining order. Martin vigorously denied all claims, and Sanchez eventually withdrew his allegations. But according to Martin's new lawsuit, obtained by TMZ, Sanchez did not stop targeting the singer. The live in La Vida Loca singer said he had been persecuted, besieged, harassed, stalked and extorted by a maladjusted person. The lawsuit alleged that a month after withdrawing his allegations, Sanchez began sending messages to him through Instagram, threatening to assassinate his reputation and integrity unless Martin paid him off. Martin claimed that Sanchez had bombarded him with messages, sometimes up to 10 per day, over a four-month period. He said the messages had clearly been sent by a maladjusted individual. Martin also alleged that Sanchez posted the singer's private phone number on his own Instagram account. The singer said he had lost numerous multi-million dollar deals in the wake of his nephew's allegations. He added that he and his family now felt unsafe living in Puerto Rico and wanted a judge to order Sanchez to refrain from all communications. After Sanchez withdrew his allegations, a judge granted a temporary, rather than permanent, restraining order. Martin lives in Puerto Rico with his husband Juan Yosef, to whom he has been married since 2017, and their four children. Loading tweet in a video statement to NBC News after the claims were dropped, Martin said he had not been able to defend himself immediately after Sanchez made the accusations because I was following a procedure where the law was obligating me not to talk until I was in front of the judge. It has been devastating for me, for my family, for my friends, he said. I don't wish this upon anybody. To the person that was claiming this nonsense, I wish him the best and I wish he finds the help, so he can start a new life filled with love and truth and joy, and he doesn't hurt anybody else. For more engaging celebrity content, visit 7Life on Facebook.